Poised on the southern end of the Arabian Peninsula, Oman shares borders with the UAE, Saudi Arabia, and Yemen. But this country is a world of its own. Oman's economy has developed at lightning speed thanks to all of its wealth. But unlike the neighboring UAE, it has beautifully retained its Bedouin traditions, strong sense of identity, and Omani pride. Beautiful, huh? Yeah, it's such a nice breeze. Yeah. And the color is so beautiful too. It's so blue. Oh, look, you can see fishies. And there. Dropping off our bags here. I find I'm at most peace when I'm near food. And unlimited food is the best. So we took a really quick flight from Dubai all the way here. I think, how long was it? Like 45 minutes. 45 there. minutes? I was thinking an hour, but it was even shorter. That was such a quick shot. And we're starting kicking off Muscat at the Sultan Qabus Mosque, which is this place of serene tranquility and just beauty all around. Okay, I'm renting, I'm getting the traditional attire to explore the mosque. So I'm gonna just put this on. And the Mani attire this is a little bit different from the one that I have already tried on in Bahrain because they have this cute tassel. And it's a little bit more of like a modern cut because it, in Bahrain I had one that goes up to the collar. But this one doesn't. This is a traditional Omani hat. Feeling so regal at the mosque, Sultan Kwabosk, Grand Mosque. Ooh, look at this! Ooh, I. Look far, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. Walking through the gardens of the mosque. Look at this. Such a beautiful mosque. And this is only the entrance way with these fountains spurting out. So it is optional for men to wear attire as Yirun is in his modern wear, western wear, shall I say. And but for women, you must be all dressed up as well to enter in the mosque. But for me, woo, I'm in it. To take our shoes off and leave it in these little cute cubbies. Wow, what a grand room this is. Look at all of this. And the architecture in here as well. Okay, the, what I really love is the details of the chandeliers that hung above. They kind of look like cobras almost. It's absolutely stunning. And the great thing is, is that the Grand Mosque here is open for tourists from 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. Oman is the oldest independent state in the Arab world, with Oman being one of the more traditional countries in the Gulf region and was until the 1970s. The country has so far been spared the militant Islamic violence that has plagued some of its neighbors, and with that, the country boasts a rich heritage embracing society, a strong sense of identity, and a pride in an ancient frankincense trading path with confidence in a highly educated future. 
absolutely stunning in here. I love how everything is just completely white and the little de details that is carved out. Wow. And how the light just filters through it. What is this? And the brightness of the white floors and the white building itself. How do you feel? <laughs> Can I go back to <laughs> yeah, this is much better. Because yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I have like natural protectors. <laughs> yeah, yours is like really big your eyes. <laughs> This glorious piece of modern Islamic architecture was a gift to the nation from Sultan Qabas to mark his 30th year of reign. The main prayer hall is breathtakingly beautiful. The Persian carpets alone measure 70 meters by 60 meters wide, making it the second largest hand loom Iranian carpet in the world. It took 600 women 4 years to weave. And the mosque, which can accommodate 20,000 worshippers, including 750 women in a private musala, which means prayer hall, is an active place of worship, particularly for Friday prayers. If you're going to visit, don't come on Fridays. So peaceful here. You can really feel that this is the heart and soul of the spirituality in Muscat and in Oman itself too. What is your first impression of Oman so far? Oh, this architecture is stunning. Magnificent. Yeah. It's like how, I mean, I know it's a religious place, but in Europe, where you grew up, there's churches everywhere, but I feel like they don't make it like this. Like, the no, attention no. of details, yeah, the, the prettiest ones are hundred years old. Yeah, exactly. Whereas here, even the newer mosque that pops up, these newer religious places, they still have that touch to it, that care. The grandeur. Yeah, the grandeur. finishing at the mosque now and I feel so sad and plain in my basic western wear. Back to reality. Next, we drove down the coast where we saw stunning architecture along the sea and below the huge rock mountains that loom high above the capital city of Muscat. For our Oman adventures, we rented a car for our duration of our travels here. The thing about Oman is that it's a huge country and cars are the best way to get around compared to public transport. Don't forget! It's important to always use sunscreen when it's super sunny and the weather is clear like this. Yeah, we should grow our beards too because it gives the natural uh, clock of the SPF. Oh, does it? Yeah. I bet. Oh, shit. <laughs> After exploring all morning, there's no place to rather yeah, be than a Cornish cafe where we can sit on the roof and look over and out at the harbor and also dive into the delicious traditional food here. We have some almond hummus with, as you can see, some pomegranates and it's so beautiful with the tomatoes, carrot and cucumber on the side. Look at this dapple of olive oil in it as well. And what you can see is actually the almonds is a little bit crackling from what I assume it was just roasted recently as it settled in with the olive oil. Shake. Look at that pistachio. Here we have this 
some beautiful mixed grilled meat plates. So we have some chicken, some lamb, this light bread with a little bit of salad, garlic of course, some chili paste and fries. What more can we ask for? From our delicious lunch, we are ready to now explore the Mutra Souk. So Cornish Cafe was just almost right above the entrance of the Mutra Souk. Woo! Yeah. It smells so good. And so it was easy to just come down and explore this labyrinth of scents and colors and so many dazzling things. Oh, thank you. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's really cute though. Oh, no, it's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much. Though. I believe I just got souped. This is the boardwalk on Mutra. On one side, you have the sea and on the other side is the bustling commerce of the souk. And in the far distance, what do you see, Hussey? Right there? A fort. A fort! Dun dun dun! Beautiful, huh? Yeah, such a nice breeze. Yeah. And the color is so beautiful too, it's so blue. Oh, look, you can see fishies. They're there. The National Museum Sultanate of Oman is dedicated to showcasing and preserving Omani culture. So there's over 7,000 pieces in this beautiful, gorgeous building. This museum was created in 2016, so not too long ago either. So beautiful, this is a traditional This poster is literally a Pharaoh Williams saying to drive slowly and safely, to not text and drive. Imagine having Pharaoh Williams having to be an endorsement person for that. It has a signature on it too. <laughs> Getting comfortable? Yes. Rune knows I'm not the most flexible person ever. So for a traditional money meal where we sit down on the floor, I'm always... Oh, he's not cross-legged either. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do the same way. Because cross-legging for me is a little tough. But it's nice to have these pillows to lean on. Very chewy. And the flavors? Mm. I like um, meat, like stew. Ah, oh, okay. Very gamey. Mm -hmm. Very good. After exploring Muscat and just having a day hopping all around the Omani capital, we're now settling into Adafia for traditional Omani food. 
and we're ending the day here for dinner. So actually, this is our both our first time eating camel. So we have two dishes of camel. We have camel curry right here. And also camel, I believe it was tamarind. And so it looks like stew as well. And then we also have some nice rice, some greens, and a dip. Scoop a little rice with my camel curry. Mmm. Kind of like beef, but like well done beef because it is really chewy. And the texture is really tough and thick as well. But it soaks up the curry flavors really well. The extent of the Mani Empire actually. It went all over, down from Oman down to the coast along Africa. But along the way, who is windy out here? <laughs> Wait for it! Wait for it! <laughs> Alright, cut! <laughs> well, because of the empire, the Omani Empire being all around this part of the world, all the way down, like I said, to Madagascar actually, they came into a few conflicts with the Portuguese back then. But one thing that came out from interacting with the Portuguese are forts. And so they got to learn how to build forts and all around Oman, even here in Mutra and Muscat, there are forts everywhere too, inspired by the Portuguese. We went from the front of the palace to now the back of the palace. And from the palace, you can see the two forts. There's one fort there, and then behind me is another fort with the sea, of course. And this is a perfect spot to spend kind of the sunset and end of the evening day. I hope you enjoy our adventure in Oman so far. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not part of our traveling family already. And give this video a like and leave a comment below because we have more of a journey from this sultanate to show you in the next video.